Hello and welcome to the second UGG tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to make an UGG publisher and an UGG button. UGG publishers are very useful for managing groups of UI elements, such as a dialog box or a scoreboard or something. So that's the first thing we're going to make. Uh, the first thing we need in order to make an UGG publisher is a C sharp script. So we're going to go into the project view. Um, I like to keep all of my scripts in a script folder. And we are going to create a new C sharp script. Now I like to end the names of my C sharp scripts, which are UGG publishers, with the word publisher, just to remind myself of what they are. So I'm going to call this one an awesome publisher. There we go. So then if you open this up, you'll see our default C sharp script. What we're going to do is go to the fourth line right here where it says public class, the name of the class, whatever you picked, and then the word mono behavior. We're just going to change the word mono behavior to the word UG publisher and save the script. And now we have a custom UG publisher class, which you can use to execute your own custom code when UG buttons are clicked. So if we, we already saved it, so if we close this and go back into Unity, the next thing we're going to do is put this awesome publisher object into the scene. So we're going to create a blank game object, call it awesome publisher and then we're going to drag the script that we just created onto our blank game object which we've just named and here we go so here is our UGG publisher with our reference lists uh, we'll learn more about those later so now that we have an UGG publisher the next thing we're going to do is create an UGG button so to do this, we need an UGG sprite definition, because an UGG button is a type of UGG sprite. So if we go into included UGG assets, look for our sprite definitions under graphics, shiny silver chrome, sprite atlas, sprite definitions, and we have our sprite definitions again. So I'm going to make a UGG button out of the generic button up sprite definition. So you click there, and last time we clicked sprites from definitions, now we'll click buttons from definitions, and it will create one UGG button. And we'll drag it around, and resize it a bit. There we go. Uh, now before we go on, there's a few things I'd like to do to this UGG button just to make it look better. Uh, so one thing is I would like to actually add a text label to it. So I'm just going to use an UGG text so that it says what the button does. So this button says... There we go. Now we have an UGG text labeling the button. There's one more thing I'd like to do. If you'll notice, if you play the scene and then go to click on the button, you'll see it doesn't look like it's being clicked on. And that's because we haven't specified a pressed sprite definition. So when the UGG button is pressed, it shows a different sprite. So we need to drag in that sprite definition. So we can go to generic button up, which is the UGG button in the hierarchy view, and see the press definition. There is none right now. There is no press definition. So all we need is a sprite definition for that. You see the sprite definitions, and I'm going to drag generic button down into the pressed sprite definition. And then you'll see 
when you press play and click on the button. Now it looks like it's being clicked. So that's much better. So now that we've got a nice looking button there, we are going to add it to the UGG publisher and make it do something when it is pressed. So to add an UGG button to an UGG publisher, uh, the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that the UGG button is a child of the UGG publisher. So under it like that. And in fact, since uh, many objects need to be children of the UGG publishers that they are added to, it's a good practice, and I'm going to right now make all of the UGG elements in the dialog or scoreboard that you are making be children of the UGG publisher. So I'm going to do that. So now that the UGG button right here is a child of the UGG publisher, we are going to add it to the UGG publisher's reference list. So if you go into the UGG publisher, you'll see UGG button references. Just drop that down, make some room for the UGG button, and drag the UGG button in. So now you've created a reference to the UGG button. Um, you're going to want to give it a name. So this is going to be the awesome button. And for UGG buttons, you're going to want to give them a function name. So this function name is quite simply the name of the function that will be called when this UGG button is pressed. So I'm going to call the function on awesome button. And that's all you need to do in the inspector view. If you go back into the project view, we want to find the script that we just made and add a function to it which has the name on awesome button pressed so that when this button is pressed that function will be called and do something. So if we open up the script we're going to add the function on awesome button pressed. Now you'll see that all this function does so far is print a line of text to the console. Next time, we'll make this UGG button do something a little bit cooler, but for now, we just want it to do something. So, let's test it out. Go back into Unity. Here's the console window down here. So let's play and click our button and watch our message appear. There it is. Hello, awesome world. So that's the end of the second tutorial. In this tutorial, we made an UGG publisher and an UGG button and sort of showed you a bit how to work with them. In the next tutorial, we'll be adding some more things to these reference lists in the UGG publisher and start to see a little better how the pieces of UGG work together.